Hello, Mr. Tree. My, you're big. Boop. Hello, blue sheep. Are you comfy? Happy in your pen? I hope so. <coughs> Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron, and today... Oh, how'd you get in there? Are you just visiting friends? Is your pen not big enough for you? Yeah, they got more space, but... Okay, you don't have your friends in there, though. Uh, okay, we'll have to fix that. Hello! <laughs> Here we are. We're back at my uh, my garden, which I've shown you how I built. I did a little upgrade. Um, I have a sword now that has looting on it, which is really helpful. So when you find some slime blocks, they drop more than one slime ball, uh, which is great. So I now have some more slime because I found a couple of slimes out in the, the world. And uh, I got enough to make my sticky pistons to make all my pumpkin pushers. So this is the garden. Should be familiar enough to you. And uh, But when you come over here and press the button, um, you'll notice. Oh, look at that. All the pumpkins just push right out. It's really simple. There's not much to it. There's I got sticky pistons underneath each of these spots here now, and I can just go along, come along, and pick up all the uh, the pumpkins. And if I plant watermelons, they'll pop right out too. So that's very cool. Let me quickly gather up everything, and we need to replant. Still have to replant manually, which is a little bit of a pain, but. Um, it's better than nothing. So, let's go plant our sugar cane. Thank you. So, the these rows are 11 long. I'm thinking of going and making them one more because the, the pistons on these sides can actually push uh, 12 blocks. So, there's no reason not to make them uh, 12, make the rows each 12 block long, 12 blocks long. It'd be relatively easy to relocate everything and I'm there's some upgrades on the redstone that I'd like to do but uh, oh who are you sometimes these seeds and and other bits glitch out I think they're kind of stuck between the water and there but it's not that big of a deal I don't need oh look and there's already a pumpkin here come here okay there we go. So anyway, that's uh, that's just an update uh, update on the garden. Uh, this is the farm th version three. Uh, sun's starting to set, so let me go sleep. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Um, and uh, thought well, you'd like to see that. And and oh, you know what? Let me show you what the redstone underneath looks like. It's very simple. And there's, as I said, there's really not much to it. So here's the the mini version of it, which I've already shown. There's no pumpkins on it at the moment, but you step on this pressure plate, it pushes them up. Uh, I, I simplified the, uh, the redstone quite a bit. I wanted it to come in from one side, because on the other side, I've got all the other, the pushers... Uh, on the rows the row pushers and I wanted to make it as simple as possible so and I realize now I can make it even more simple than this but anyway the um, the pressure plays right up here powers this redstone goes along pushes uh, powers these blocks using repeaters which of course I don't need the repeaters anymore um, I can oh yeah oh I don't know if I should try that uh, I'm using I want to do two different levels here because I want to come from one side so these repeaters power these blocks which does a double knot gate 
essentially powers these redstone torches, which powers the pistons. Comes down here, and this repeater is there simply because the, the redstone path is too long otherwise. Same thing here, but instead of, uh, instead of angled redstone torches on the side of blocks, I'm just doing a little redstone ladder to power these guys here. Um, let me try a little experiment. This is our experiment world after all. Let me get the supplies I need. I need some dirt and some redstone dust. And I can take all this redstone out and take these repeaters out. And really, I want to power this guy here right so I can make this much more compact if I just run the redstone along the top of the those blocks that should take care of it uh oh Eww. no not quite burning out those torches Why is that created a little repeater? All right, obviously, not what I was had in mind. It, will this work? All right, let's go try this. Only one side. I don't know that this will work. No. Okay, never mind. What I had worked, and it was kind of necessary uh, for some reason. I don't know. That's kind of weird. It is. It's. It is odd to me what will power. Reds. What will power redstone blocks and what won't? It doesn't always make sense. We got all those. One, two, three, four. They're not needed. And. But. Uh, Powering a repeater into the back of a block always seems to work. So it's the safe way, although it requires a repeater, which takes a little bit. It's not the, the cheapest thing in the world. Let's try this down here. And do that. Can I just take the redstone in here? Why is that powered? What is that getting powered? Oh, it's getting powered by the torches. Okay, that's why. Jeez. Okay. I was hoping to be able to simplify that, but you can't. Okay. Well, there you have it. Um, oh, I've already got pumpkins. All right. Well, thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Sunset.